Hi, my name is Kevin Lee Allen. I am a set and lighting designer. I'm a Vectorworks user. I am a beta tester for Vectorworks 2013. I'm the author of Vectorworks Spotlight for Entertainment and Lighting Design. Um, and I'm here to talk about one of my favorite features in um, Vectorworks 2013. Um, I get very excited when beta season comes along because there are always a plethora of new tools and commands that I can work with to try to streamline my workflow. Um, I build fairly complex models and um, particularly in design develop the development there's an ongoing need for editing. Um, I get very cluttered. I have a complex class and layering system that I set up but I don't always get to set it up right away. So I'm going to talk about the clip, clip cube feature, which allows me to isolate objects, particularly when I have snap to object turned on and I have a complex model without turning a lot of things off. Um, I can access the clip cube feature in a couple of different ways. One is by going to view rendering and clip cube. And then I can zoom in on the uh, cube by hitting Command-6. The clip cube has then isolated these few objects based on the one that was selected. Um, I can also edit this uh, cube by selecting it. And just like the push-pull tool, I can add or subtract some objects from the things that I have isolated. Um, the other way to access the Clip Cube tool, and I'm going to use it to turn it off, um, is in the Quick Preferences, I can include Show the Clip Cube, which I have here. And when I click it, it goes off, and I'm back zoomed in. Uh, like many, many tools in Vectorworks, it has a lot of options that I don't have time to explain today, but you have modifier keys and... Um, other editing tools to isolate uh, your work and quickly get in and uh, move the project along. That's all I got. Thanks.